Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back uh, redoing a video because I have to admit that I can be a perfectionist and I am a perfectionist in rehab and I am trying not to be that and I um, having been around art and media and theater when I was really younger it's really easy to become a perfectionist and it doesn't work for anybody especially yourself so most of the time when I have things that I see um, when I'm doing the editing or whatever I'll just let them go and you know move on because that's actually a healthy way to deal with it but once in a while you have a video where just so many things just didn't work that you really feel that you need to go ahead and redo and that's kind of what happened here so I think we'll go ahead and get started and uh, as far as what I have on for base today, I did go ahead and use the Maybelline Superstay uh, C Plus. I have mine in 102, and I mixed it with the Beauty Bay Glow Filter, and this one is in the shade 2. And this one gives me longevity. Um, the Glow Filter from Beauty Bay gives me a lot of glow, very little pigment, and um, a little bit of moisture. And in my case, I picked out shade two, which is the light shade, and uh, shade one is the fair shade. So I'm actually getting a little bit of bronze, which I kind of like because I lost all my color from the summer. And so I'm getting a little bit of bronze, and I like that out of this product. Um, they're only about eight shades altogether. Each shade is supposed to cover a whole bunch of skin tones. So that's kind of uh, what's going on there. As far as what I actually did for the cheeks, um, I ended up mixing a couple of products. I went ahead and used the ColourPop, and this one is the one in Sunset Strip. And then for the bronzer, I went ahead and used the Flower, and this is the Sunrise Bronzer. Really pretty mauve, rosy kind of bronzer. And then I did also go ahead and use a little bit of the Bare Minerals. This is the Kiss of Rose. I think I'm going to add a little bit more because, yeah, I could do with a little bit more. So, uh, there's that. I think it showed up a little bit more. I didn't really expect this look to go as dark as it did. I thought it was going to be more light pink, and it kind of went into a darker pink. Um, I also used the JD Glow. Uh, this is their highlighter in Maryland, and it is one of those glow to the stars and back highlighters. So that's what I have on there. And then the eyes, I went ahead and used the usual suspects. The Essence Thick and Wow, this is in Caramel Blonde. And then for mascara, use the Sky High Pack. And this has the primer and also the mascara in it. So that's what I have on there. Did use the uh, Oma by Sharon C. And this is the It's Complicated. Went ahead and used um, the Elf Lip oil along with it. So that's what I have on there. As far as what I did for the eyeshadow, and yeah, it would be a really good Valentine's Day look. Um, I did go ahead and use the berries, and this is, oh, it's a little bit dirty there. Um, well, that's better. Uh, the berries, and this one is by Beauty Bay. Um, if you have it, definitely pull up out for Valentine's Day because it's a really good palette. Today I went ahead and used this one in the outer corner and then I used this matte which is more of a peachy pink and I went ahead and used that on the inner corner. On the lid I went ahead and used this one then on the outer corner of the lid I used this. I went ahead and used this one on the inner corner. So there are a whole bunch of high intensity shimmers in this look. And maybe we should add one more. Um, this one down here. And see if maybe I can deepen up this a little bit. So I'm putting this red on the brow bone. And let's see. 
It's again a really pretty shadow. And this one is a very deep berry um, shimmer. So this way that the eye look came out. And I did go ahead and use the ColourPop eyeliner as well on this one. As far as going ahead and getting to the review, this is a review on the uh, Beauty Bay Skin Care System. I got the moisturizing one. And to go ahead and give you a little bit of background on my skin type, um, most of my adult life I was oily, acne prone, adult acne. I'm now older and so I have an oily T-zone, but my cheeks are pretty normal at this point. So I thought that I could actually get a moisturizing system and get to play with some of the newer ingredients and newer formulations because my skin has changed enough that moisturizers, you know, cross fingers aren't going to break me out all the time like they did when I was younger. And so I went ahead and took a chance on this new system. I got it right at uh, Black Friday. And I've been using it for about two and a half months now. And I have to say that overall I'm really liking it. Um, I did have a couple of breakouts. I had three breakouts, one here, one here, and one up here. And then my skin got used to it, and I haven't been breaking out since. So I've been um, really appreciative <laughs> of the fact that my skin has changed enough to be able to deal with some moisturizers. As far as the skin line goes, it's a new skin line. There are a lot of newer ingredients. I would definitely recommend going to the Beauty Bay website, uh, clicking the ingredient list, and going through the ingredients. If you are somebody who has aller known allergies, especially nut allergies or fragrance bothers you, um, just to make sure that you're aware of what's going on so you don't have an allergic reaction. Speaking from somebody who has had them, nobody wants to have them. They just, they're not good. So um, definitely take a look at the ingredient list. And um, But again, I just... It's it's a fun scare, or skincare line, and I'm only using it at night um, right now. So the first product is the chamomile, chamomile and oat lipid cleansing balm, and this one, yeah, it smells like lavender. Um, I really like it. I don't feel that I have to double cleanse with this, actually, to tell you the truth, um, and but I may feel that way because I do use a microfiber cloth and so I really feel that that gets off all the residue. So um, yeah, chamomile and oat lipid as far as the cleansing balm in this system. And then the moisture complex uh, it has algae in it. It's a face mask. It's very definitely a gel moisturizer and so with it it's a uh, this particular type of moisturizer, the gel ones have always been the ones that they uh, that everybody tells oily skin people to gravitate or gravitate toward, um, just because they tend to be a little bit lighter. And so it does have algae in it. And again, I wanted to try out a whole bunch of new ingredients. And so one of the reasons I went ahead and got this skincare line was because there's a whole bunch of new ingredients on the market since about 2017 moving forward. And I wanted to go ahead and play and see how they work on me. So, um, yeah, Beauty Bay does tend to, uh, they're, Based in the UK, uh, younger audiences gravitate toward them, I think, um, because they do have a lot of really popular, really viral products on there. And um, so the next product that I've been using is the 5% Squalane Grapeseed Oil, and it's an oil serum hybrid. It doesn't look like an oil. It actually, let's see, yeah. Um, comes out as a cream and so I think it's whipped um, so it's it's really fun and it has actually a pretty thick texture to it 
And so uh, again, it goes on really well over the um, moisture cream, the algae. And if this is starting to look like slugging to you, it is. Because the next product and the last actual product in this skincare line is a 5% squalane hyaluronic acid and gluten, pardon me, polyglutamic acid overnight balm. So it's 5% squalane. It has hyaluronic acid and polyglutamic acid, and it's a balm. And it does feel a little bit, it has a little bit of that um, texture that you get from um, some of the balms. Um, but this one is, a, it's very confusing because it's a liquid, but you, it doesn't come out of the bottle as a liquid. It comes out as more of a cream. And then once you start spreading it, it turns into a liquid and it soaks in. So let me show you here. And it really does go ahead and give you that slugging, sort of putting Vaseline on your face, but not quite kind of feeling. Because the balm itself, here's the balm. As you can see, it's not running down my hand. Um, it definitely hasn't warmed up to my skin yet, um, but it does have enough of that Vaseline kind of feel that it will go ahead and uh, lock everything in for the night. And once I go ahead and use all these steps, it takes about maybe 15 minutes to an hour for everything to soak in. And I just uh, feel like it definitely um, gives me more moisture for the next day. And like I said, I only use these products at night. These aren't my daytime products, um, but I really am enjoying the slugging and getting to go ahead and wake up with a real moisturized face in the morning. Just to let you know uh, what I'm using during the daytime, and I am using a moisturizer, is the Trader Joe's Nourish at antioxidant facial serum. This one has vitamin C and reservatol in it. So I'm really liking for that for the daytime. With Trader Joe's, it's a grocery store. It's not a big grocery chain um, here in the U.S. and they don't actually sell the products online. Uh, you have to go to the store or have a friend go to the store, get it for you, and then mail it to you sort of thing going on there. So uh, that's all the products. It does actually come with, and you can see I haven't really used it as spatula so that you can go ahead and use your products that way. We, well, with, yeah, talking today. Well, anyway, so uh, with these products, I think they're going to last for about three to four months. So you're definitely looking at going ahead and repurchasing at least once a year, maybe twice a year. You also need to be prepared for the fact that Beauty Bay is shipping from the UK, from England. And so it's going to take about two to three weeks to get to you. It's not going to be within the same week kind of thing. Um, because it is going across the ocean to get to you um, if you're here in the U.S. So, um, yeah, as far as the actual line itself, I'm really enjoying it. I'm liking it a lot. It's not that expensive. Um, I got the whole line for between $30 to $35, and uh, that was on sale, I think, regularly. It runs about $52, but Beauty Bay is also known for having a lot of sales, so definitely go ahead and pick it up during one of their sales. I actually tried it because I tried a whole bunch of their eyeshadow palettes and blushes and highlighters, and I had really enjoyed the formulas and so I thought, you know, I can go ahead and try out a new line and they're doing innovative formulas and all sorts of good new things and see if my skin likes it, if it'll tolerate it, if, you know, it works for me. So far, I'm really enjoying it. All of the products I am really enjoying. And, um, yeah, that's a review. Good stuff. If you want to try it, I would definitely recommend it. And with that, I hope that you have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.